Hello and welcome to the Jazz Ranch, flipsters, hipsters, and finger-popping daddies. I'm your ultra-dominant ego man. You can call me Mr. Ego if you like. And you know, the KH tonight, he's planning on playing a song by the great classical composer Chopin. You know, my three favorite uh, composers are Beethoven, Chopin, and Bach. And you know, uh, anyway, I was at a concert recently and they were playing Tchaikovsky. Somehow that doesn't sound right to me. But anyway, they were doing Romeo and Juliet. And in the middle of the piece, I started to weep. And the lady next to me on the seat, she said, Oh, you must be an incurable romantic. And I said to her, No, I'm a musician. <laughs> hey, wait a minute now. I'm not through. Hello, I'm friends, through. and welcome back to the Jazz Ranch. I'm sorry about the altered, dominant ego man, you know. He's back haunting us, and uh, if you enjoy his humor, then you have a problem. But anyway, I'm going to be playing a piece by Chopin tonight, an easy song called uh, Prelude Number no. 4, and it was featured in the movie Five Easy Pieces, and Jack Nicholson played the piano in this, in this movie on this particular song. It was quite poignant when he played it. And I'm going to be playing that for you and comparing it to a song by Antonio Carlos Jobim, the great Brazilian composer, called How Insensitive. So I hope you enjoy this comparison. And I'm going to talk a little bit about it, but mostly I'm going to just play it and speak a little bit about it, and then we'll do a tutorial later on if you like. So here we go now with Chopin's Prelude Number 4. First step is Chopin's prelude number four is to just play the piece the way he wrote it. And I'm not a classical pianist, so you can critique me if you're a classical pianist on this performance. But here we go now with Chopin's prelude number four. My interpretation. Step two, I'm going to show you how I might interpret this song if I analyzed the chords and I played it more in a jazz type of concept. So here we go now with the jazz concept of Chopin's piece Prelude Number 4.
The next step, I'm going to show you Antonio Carlos Jobim's song, How Insensitive, and how you might interpret it in the same way that Chopin wrote this prelude number four. And you can decide if you think there's a similarity and that perhaps Jobin was influenced by Chopin to write this song called How Insensitive. Here we go. For the last step, I'm just going to play the song How Insensitive now with a jazz interpretation and with some improvisation to show how I would convert the classical concept over to a jazz interpretation. So here we go now with How Insensitive. Signing off from the Jazz Ranch, I will wish you all the season's greetings and there'll be more Christmas songs that and jazz interpretations of Christmas songs coming up in the next couple of weeks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please write to me. I love to hear from you and thank you for all your letters and your emails and so on. And until next time, I'll say in the words of my great friend Hermie Dressel, swing loose, jingle bells and swing loose. Bye bye.